Hey guys, Joe from Extreme Terrain. Today I'm going to be reviewing and installing the Velot DryTech 3D closed box cold air intake fitting all 16 and newer 3.5 liter Tacomas. Now this is going to be perfect for the Tacoma owner who's looking to squeeze just a little bit more power out of their 3.5 liter engine with a cold air intake that features a closed box design and has a lot of extras. It's constructed out of a precision molded polyethylene and features a closed box design that shields the intake from any warm air in the engine bay. One thing I do like about this one is it retains that factory inlet in the fender to allow the coolest air possible into the engine. Cooler air means more dense with oxygen. That is gonna result in a small amount of horsepower as well as torque and throttle response. The closed box features a smoke window with the Volant logo front and center. That allows you to see right through to that red DryTech 3D filter. Not only does that look cool in the engine bay, but it allows you to keep a close eye on it if it does end up getting dirty. Another great thing about the Volant is this cold air intake is no tune required. So you're going to see some of those gains in horsepower, torque, and throttle response without any tuning to the ECU. With that being said though, some of the power will probably still be left on the table. I would recommend retuning the engine to get the most out of this cold air intake. Now, speaking of optional extras, Volant also manufactures a Ram air kit for this intake that would take air from the grill area and bring it into the box through this hole here, allowing you to get even more cold air into the engine. Now, if I did have one nitpick about this cold air intake, it does look just a little bit unfinished in the engine bay without that Ram air kit on there. I would have loved to have seen Volant make a smooth box version of this for the Tacoma owner out there that wasn't interested in the Ram app. One thing I did just want to touch on about this cold air intake is that it is not carb certified. So if you do live in one of those more emissions restricted states, this might not meet requirements for your local laws. Pricing for this kit is going to come in at around 330 bucks. Now that is expensive for a cold air intake, but for a closed box design like this one, with all the features it has and some nice hardware, it really is a fair price to pay and land right in the middle ground. Also included in that price is going to be a one year warranty from Velar. As far as the install goes, we're looking at an easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Should only take you about an hour with some basic hand tools and there's no modification required to your Tacoma. So without any further ado, let me show you how it's done. Tools required for this install are going to be an impact gun or ratchet, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver, and a six inch extension. So first, obviously we have to get our factory intake out of here. Now that's not gonna be too big of a task. We're gonna start by unclipping the upper section of our factory intake. Then we're gonna push down on a tab to release our mass airflow sensor and peel back the engine cover. So we're just gonna push down on the top edge of that tab and unplug it. Now this is clipped in a couple of other places along the intake. Right here, you can pull back on that tab and release that as well. And then there's one more clip behind here on this resonator box. To get that one out, all you do is push up from underneath and the clip should release. To get this out of the way, just lift up on the front and then pull straight out toward yourself and it comes right off. That is going to reveal this band clamp. That gets loosened up with a 10 millimeter socket and this hose here, which you could pinch to release and pull off. At this point, the top half of our intake is loose, so we could pop that off the throttle body. Peel back on the box. And the top half should come out in one big piece. Now we're gonna turn our attention to this lower half of the air box and this paper filter right here. As far as the filter goes, you can just lift up on that and pull it out. That's gonna reveal two 12 millimeter bolts on the bottom of this box. We're gonna take those out. There's also one on a mounting tab back here as well. We're gonna remove that and then pull the box. So at this point, our factory intake is completely uninstalled. We can start working on our new Volant cold air intake. 
So what we're gonna have to do first is transfer over this mass airflow sensor here by loosening up these two small Phillips head screws on the sensor. So now we can drop that new sensor into our new Volant intake tube. Now there are some rubber washers you wanna get in between that and the tube and some new Phillips head hardware to tighten it down. Next, we're gonna do some work on our new air box. First, we have to get this lid out of the way. It's held on with four Phillips head screws. With the lid out of the way, we're now going to install this air filter coupler. That gets screwed onto the wall of the box with the included 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna build up our intake tube a little bit as well. This coupler right here with the ridge in the middle is going to go in between the intake tube and the box. And this one with the step down is gonna to go toward our throttle body. With those in place, we can tighten down the clamps with an eight millimeter socket. At this point, our new Volant intake is ready to go on our Tacoma, but before we do, I just wanted to build it up a little bit so I could put it next to our factory intake and point out some of the key differences. Right off the bat, this tinted window right here is an awesome improvement in the looks department and gives us a clear shot to that dry max filter, which is also a huge improvement in the airflow department over this factory cotton filter. One thing I do really like about the Volant is it keeps this intake draw from the fender so you can be sure that the coldest air is going in your intake. You're also probably wondering what this cap right here is. Volant also sells a Ram Air kit that you could attach to that cap and get even more cold air. If you have that, you can remove that and install it on that flange. If not, you could leave the cap in place. Moving down the intake, other improvements include the removal of this flex pipe right here. That makes this easy to install at the factory, but all it really does afterward is create turbulence. This is a much smoother design, allowing for better airflow. On top of that, we're also upping the diameter of this tube. We're also ditching this big factory sound box on our factory intake right there. All that's really there for is to cut down on some induction noise and make the truck a little bit easier to daily drive. Our Volant does not have that, so you'll probably hear a little bit more induction noise and not having that there also helps cut down on the turbulence as well. So I'm gonna take our Volant back apart so we can head over to the truck and start bolting it down. So then we could drop in our intake and secure it with two of the three 12 millimeter bolts that we removed earlier. So now we're ready to drop in our filter. We're gonna tighten down that clamp with an eight millimeter socket. Then we're gonna use a Phillips head screwdriver to get our window in place.
We're just going to move down the kit now, make sure these clamps are tightened, and we can plug back in our mass airflow sensor. Reattach this breather hose and secure it. And finally, we're going to use that 8mm socket to tighten the clamp around our throttle body. And finally, we can reinstall our engine cover by getting it on the mounting tabs in the back and then pushing down. And that is going to do it for my review and install of the Volant DriveTech 3D closed box cold air intake fitting all 16 and newer 3.5 liter Tacomas. Thank you for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one and all things Tacoma.